Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. For those of you who are new, and this is the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. The crazy, just because I am sometimes, not intentionally, I don't think. Maybe sometimes. Like right now. And a troll because, even though there is no real such thing, it's just my way of poking fun at the beauty community that everything should be perfect and flawless. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Because we're not. As much as I like to play in face paint, as much as we like to play in face paint, my purpose is embracing yourself, your natural features, self-love and self-acceptance. And so that is the concept behind TCTN. So this video, and I have notes here, um, as you can tell by the title, uh, yeah, this is my no-buy haul. <laughs> My no buy started in March and I told myself it was going to be six months and so that's until September. Today is July 22nd. Um, yeah, so I got some stuff. And not all at one time, but over time. And I'm going to tell you why, not as an excuse, but you can say it's an excuse. When something is an awesome sale or it's a really good deal and it's something that I really think I'm going to like or or I already had it previously and I know I liked it. It's just really hard for me to pass that up. And so my no buy was for nothing except essentials or if I was about to run out of something, purchase the next one, that type of thing. And so, um, yeah, I got some stuff. So I have a list here. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed in a way, but all right, we're just going to jump into it. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> after my no buy started, which it is still going on, I saw on the Natasha Denona website, and I have stuff sitting out because I didn't want to forget anything, and so I'm just trying to grab what I'm trying to tell you, and of course I didn't put this in any kind of order. Um, so, on the Natasha Denona website this was months ago maybe like i don't even want to say when um but they had the lila palette i only opened it really quick just to make sure nothing was cracked because i didn't want to start the shelf life running out the lila palette is a 129 dollars palette this is the, the one i am working out of now and this actually expires in november of this year so i was really happy to see it on sale for 80 dollars I said in a few of my other videos, and this is what she looks like, I said in a couple of my other videos, if you're wanting a Natasha Denona palette, go back and forth every now and then on the, mm, excuse me, go back and forth every now and then on the Natasha Denona website and see if something is on sale. This is $129, and I purchased it for $80 on her website, and so, again, this is the one I'm working off of this is the new one i could not pass up that palette for 80 bucks i i just could not and that was actually my first <laughs> no buy break that i did okay we're gonna move on i knew when the circle local palette came out that i wanted it i'm like those colors oh i wanted it and i said i'm gonna wait until the november sephora sale the rouge cell, the rouge cell, I think they pronounce it rouge. And I'll get 20% off. Okay, so what happened was <laughs> over the 4th of July weekend, Natasha Denona's website had a sale. The Circle Local palette was $100 instead of $129. And also some of her other $129 palettes weren't sold for $100. She also had bundles. Uh. She also had the Biba palette for $100 for that weekend. I already have Biba. This is what she looks like. One of my favorites, if not my favorite of her palette. Yes, it's neutral, but you can go smoky with this. And so this, I just love this palette. And I have one here repurchased on my label. I have the expiration date and then I have repurchased. So this was already on my repurchase list. Okay, so what happened was she had a bundle sell for the Biba palette <laughs> and the Circle Local palette for $170. I already knew I wanted this. I was waiting for 20% off. 
And so for $170 to get both of these, that's what, like $85 a palette? I could not pass that up. And also during the sale, did I show you what Circle Local looks like? I already have some videos on my channel of recreated looks that I've done from other YouTubers on my channel. So I am enjoying playing with it. I, I am really liking that palette. Also that weekend, they had Leela on sale for $77.40. I didn't feel upset about it because I paid $80 for my new one. And so that was fine. So again, if you're wanting Natasha Denona, just wait. Just delay your gratification and just wait. And that's the main thing that this nobody has shown me is even if I want something, if I wait, it may really go on sale and be a good deal. And so, yeah. All right, so we're going to move on here. <laughs> Where did, oh, here they are. I really like the e.l.f. putty blushes. The one that I have kept is Bali. And this is what that looks like. And so I already have that, love it. It looks very natural, neutral on me. And I do have videos with this on and also how I apply it. When they came out with the putty bronzers, I'm like, I want to try those because I love the putty blush so much. Um, but I didn't want to pay for shipping. And I think it's either $25 or $30 or something for free shipping. And I'm like, I don't want to pay like $6 for shipping for like a $6, $6 product, excuse me. I received an email. <laughs> from elf yes it can be dangerous to sign up on websites because then they send you all this stuff and they were having free shipping for any order and i'm like oh. so i purchased two tan lines and sundays i'm not i'm sorry not sundays tan lines which pulls cool on me so i use that as a contour and i do have videos showing me applying this and if it's if they're not uploaded yet they will because the way my upload schedule is i'm already out till like august and this is golden days this one i do use as a bronzer and so these were for the both of these it was 12 dollars because they're six dollars a piece and then with free shipping i was like okay let me calm down i knew i <laughs> my current concealer that i was using the sephora bright future gel serum concealer it was a month before it expired and fenty came out with the bright fix it's a long title bright fix eye brightener and I was like hmm I kind of wanted to try it as you can see I did now I do have videos using this as well I purchased the shade in peach which for me is a corrector I kind of want to show you colors of things but then I, I think that'll make the video longer but I have a video using this too and this was $25 and my purpose was my other concealer was about to expire in a month so let me see if I can use this as my concealer. It is more of a corrector. And I am, I do still, I don't have it on now. I do still see a little discoloration under my eyes. But that's fine for me because it looks natural. Like to not have any color under here at all, it looks weird. Because that's not how my face naturally looks. And so I do like this because it does look natural and I'm glad I purchased it. It is twice as much as the Sephora concealer, but you get twice as much product in here and you only need a tiny bit. And so to me, it was worth it. And so that's the other thing that I purchased. I needed, a, not needed, because we don't need any makeup. I wanted to purchase another of the Brow MVP from Fenty because I really do like it. I like it because the brush part is actually a brush. It's not a spoolie. And because I have sensitive skin, spoolies always felt like they were scratching my skin. And so when I tried this um, after it first launched, I'm like, this is amazing. And so this has been the only brow pencil I've been using since it launched. And I knew I wanted to get another one. And also I really like the full frontal mascara that I received um, like a free sample of. And I really liked it. I like the mascara itself and I also really like the wand and so I went on the Fenty website because my sample was running out this was running out and so I'm like okay I do want another one before these run out they had a bundle both of these would have been $44 they're $22 a piece they had a bundle for the the brow pencil the mascara a fly liner, sorry for the glare, and also a fly pencil for $54. And so I'm thinking for $10 more dollars, I get two extra products. And I remembered using the fly liner before and the fly pencil before, but I didn't remember what I felt about them. I do think I did use them up, 
but I wasn't really like, okay, I need to just get another one. But knowing that I liked it enough to continue using it, I'm like, for $10 more, I get two more full-size products. And so that's why I purchased those. And yes, I do actually use them. That brings me to, because I do like the fly liner underneath my lower lash line, and then I smudge it out. I was like, I want to try some other colors. And so I did. And so I have Big Truffle, which is their brown. I have their Perpetrator, which is purple. And what is this one called? It's green, but it's called Bank Tank. And so these I have used, and I'm glad that I purchased them. I do like them. Those of you who have been around know that if I don't like something, it goes back. Unless I know someone that can give it a happy home. Also, because I like the Full Frontal Mascara so much, there was a sale. I think it was like a 30% off sale, which beats the 20% off at Sephora if I waited for the Rogue sale. The Rouge sale, Rogue sale, Rouge sale. And so I purchased the mascara in, and these are the minis. And so these were $13 a piece. Um, this is Miss Merlot, and that's the shade. And I purchased Ivy League, which is this shade. So this is like a greenish, the Miss Merlot is like a burgundy-ish. And I find that I like colored mascara when I'm wearing very neutral, light color, shimmer eyeshadow looks. Because the black can be too stark, in my opinion. And also, it's just like a fun pop of color that people actually notice. Because I have used colored mascara before, and I'm thinking you can't really see it. And, you know, I'll send a picture or post a picture, and somebody will say, what color mascara is that? And I'm like, oh, wow, like, they do notice it. Like, it's really cool. So I purchased those two. And also, they had, like, free shipping or something like that, too. And so I'm like, that's really cool. Because I hate feeling like... I need to add something else to my purchase because I don't want to pay shipping. The other thing I purchased, <laughs> which I, I was running out of, the Dr. Dennis Gross Stress Repair Face Cream. My skin is sensitive, it's temperamental. My skin loves this stuff. It is $72. And this one is the one I had purchased because my other one was running out. And I just opened this one like two nights ago. So I actually did need to get one and I'm glad I did and the reason I purchased this was I had $45 in Sephora cash rewards this is a $72 product and so with the cash rewards I paid $27 for this and I think that's going to be my thing is just saving up my points for expensive products instead of something that's like you know 20 or 30 bucks excuse me I am sweating so that's why I got that one I purchased the Stunna and Uncuffed because this is a very neutral color on me and I wanted something neutral that will last. This does not feather on me, it doesn't crack, it doesn't crease, it doesn't bleed. And it is a very neutral color and I am just going to put, I'm not going to put it on, I'm not even going to start with colors. But this just enhances my natural lip color and so I can wear this with any eyeshadow look without it being too much. Even though if you've been here before you know I love me in a dark lip. But if I'm doing just like a very basic neutral everyday eye, sometimes I don't want to have a really bold lip. Well, really I do, but I'm trying to be sensible. <laughs> and so I thought this would be a nice nude color. And it is really, as you can see, it is nude on me. And as I said, it does just enhance my natural lip color. And this, it does transfer a little bit, but even when it wears off or it's it transfers into my mask it still looks the same on my lip like it doesn't look like it faded at all I've eaten with this on I've drank stuff I've been on a zoom call and they're like oh your lip color is pretty and I'm thinking is it still there like I've eaten I've drank stuff and it doesn't fade it may transfer but it does not fade on me anyway and for me the key is to apply a really thin layer let it dry apply another thin layer let it dry and if you want to go in with a third thin layer if you go in with a thick layer it may not last and so that's the key for that for me um, which seems to work really well the other thing I wanted to purchase more um, well not more because I don't have many small shader brushes and so I purchased a bunch the only one I kept is the makeup forever number 210 brush and I used this as a smudge brush so when I put liner underneath I use it to smudge this out and it works really well for that what else? Moving on, Pensies.com, their spice and justice. 
they had a sale. I don't know what holiday it was, or they're always having sales. I'm like, oh my gosh. But I'm not a person that I consider a good cook. It's like I tend to just stick to, you know, just basic spices. This one I love, oh my gosh. And this is two ounces. I will go through this in about three months. Like seriously, I have. And I have repurchased this numerous times. And so when I see it on sale, I'm like, yes. This has shallots, garlic, onion, green peppercorn, chives, and green onion. So if you like shallots and green onion and pepper and garlic, this is all you need. You don't have to go out and buy every individual spice unless you just want to. These were on sale for $4. No, 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 no. For $3. And these are about like 9 bucks for the 2 ounce, which is this size. $4. No, I'm still, no. what I say? Three. These were on sale for $3. I bought a bunch. <laughs> and I did send a couple to a friend because she actually cooks. And like, to me, she's like a, a cook cook. I just cook stuff every now and then that tastes good. But she's one of those people that'll just throw something together. And, you know, she's posting pictures. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks so amazing. I can never do that. I'm living vicariously through you. And so I did send her a couple of these. And that was part of my purpose in ordering a bunch and maybe that's how I justified it because I did purchase like a lot of these. Because I'm like, for $3? I go through one in like three months. I sprinkle this on just about everything I cook. Pork chops, steaks, chicken. Uh, what else? I sprinkle it in ground turkey, ground beef. If I'm, if I'm cooking with ground chicken, I sprinkle this in there. I've even put this in tuna macaroni salad because it's like garlic and pepper and shallots and onions and so like it, and when I tell people I sprinkle this on everything they're like really I'm like yes really and that's why I go through it as quick as I do I love this I love it I love it I love it moving on the NYX suede matte let me yeah suede matte lip liner and the color is cold brew and this is the color of it I needed something, you know, to not pay shipping. And this is a few bucks, maybe like three or four bucks. And I'm like, I'd rather spend the three or four bucks than pay six or seven dollars for shipping. And I do like their suede matte lip liners. They last on me. They're good for filling, lining and then filling in my lips. And sometimes I'll just put the stunner and hot chocolate over top of it. Looks really nice with that. And so this is basically like a nudish on me, especially if I feather it in. Uh, so yeah, so I got another one of those. I purchased, I was on a hunt for more eyeliners for underneath my lower lash line. Because the Fenty ones are like 22 bucks. And I'm like, if I can find an alternative that's cheaper, that would be great. So these were an experiment. These were also an emotional purchase. <sighs> my grandmother passed away July 4th. Her service and everything was July 11th. And it's just something unnaturally satisfying about clicking place order. Like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to call it makeup therapy because therapy is supposed to help you do better and feel better. And spending money unnecessarily is not something long term that's going to make you feel better or do better. And so I don't want to say it was makeup therapy, but I will say it was an emotional purchase with the purpose of, and this is how I justified it, if I can find something cheaper than the fly pencils for $22, $22, excuse me, that's what I will do. And these are $5.50. And this is the color of it. And it is called Deep Blue. I love me with a blue inner rim. And that's not what I use the fly pencils for because they irritate my eyes. And so the fly pencils I put underneath my lower lash line and I smudge them out. But this one I wanted to see if I can work with it on my lower lash line without it irritating my eyes. And I also really like purple on my inner rim. And this is deep purple. And this is the color of it. So we have the blue and we have the purple. I'm going to link a video below. I have sensitive eyes. A lot of liners do not work on my waterline because it dries my eyes out too much. And I was just watching a video the other day. She's actually an eye doctor. And she explained why sometimes liners dry out and irritate our eyes and I'm like that's why it made sense and I'm just like oh so I subscribed to her because I'm like she is really on point and she's an eye doctor she's not someone saying oh I have sensitive eyes and so I use this and it works like she explains why it may or may not work for you and so that's what I got these two for 
and also an Ulta Beauty gel eyeliner and this is in the shade denim which is this color which is also blue purchased it for the same purpose to try on my inner rim and also for underneath my lower lash line and this I believe was also probably like five dollars or six bucks or something like that and so that's why I got this one and I did get all these liners in the same order so it was just a day where I'm like oh I want to try more liners and so I did that I also purchased, also I'll say I had received an email that I received $15 off an order of $50 or more, which when you do the math is 30% off, which again beats the Sephora 20% off sale, even though Sephora doesn't carry these products. Anyway, saving money. If you're going to spend money, save money, especially if it's something you know you're going to use. And so I also purchased the Lorac Front of the Pro eyeliner in dark brown some i don't always want to use a black on my upper lash line if i'm doing a very neutral light colored look sometimes black is like eh, it's a little stark for this look and i've been wanting to try a brown and so i went on a hunt i do really like the Lorac front of the pro that i have in black and so i said oh they have a brown so let me try that one and also because i do like max black track fluid line their black one which is actually called black track i purchased the one in dip down which is brown and so we'll see and i know i do like the fluid line and I, I know i do like the Lorac. and as i said i purchased products that i know i like um outside of the brushes that i returned except for <laughs> the makeup forever one the smudger brush and so that was the key for me is is making sure is products that I know I already like or products I really believe I will like coupled with a really good sale. And so for that last NYX order, well the Ulta order with the pencils I just showed you, I'm sorry, the eyeliners I just showed you, with for an order of $50, you get $15 off, which comes out to 30% off. And so, you know, find sales like that Delay your gratification, and if you do get a coupon for something, or there's a code, or something like the Natasha Denona site when they have like those awesome sales, that's when you purchase something you've been wanting to purchase, or something you really believe you're going to like and you want to try it. And so these are all the things I've purchased since my no buy started in March, and again today is July 22nd. I have nothing else on my want to try or purchase list. And so that's why I'm doing this video now because this is closing out my no buy purchase haul stuff. And <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself. If I break my no buy again, I will tell you. So if you hear me say in a video, I broke my no buy for this, it's one of these items I've already shown you. It's not anything new. And yeah, I'm looking at this stuff like no buy who? But anyway. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you're on a no buy, if you broke your no buy, and for what reasons, and if you really felt like it was worth it as far as sell prices or money that you saved versus buying it when you first initially wanted to buy it. And again, I will say for me, the no buy was to just delay my gratification. Like we see new things. Like I knew I wanted this palette when it first came out. And I said, I'm going to wait for the Sephora sale, which will give me 20% off, which will bring it down to 103. And it's like, here I am where I got it for, what did I say, like 85 bucks? So instead of spending 129, I spent like 85. What? So delay your gratification. You know, wait for, you know, sales like that. Even if it's something inexpensive like e.l.f. $6 a piece, do you still want to spend another $6 for shipping because you need to have like a $25 order? And for things that are so inexpensive, you know how much stuff you got to order to get up to $25? And so even something <laughs> as small as that, saving shipping costs, you know, it's worth it. And so, well, in my mind. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any of these products. If you do, what you think about them. Or any of these that you don't have things that you wanted to try. 
And if you want my opinion on any of these things, you know, let me know and you will see me using these in videos which are either already posted or already uploaded and scheduled for posting. And so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and you will see me in the next one. Bye.